Dead Man is a postmodern western released in 1995, directed by Jim Jarmusch. The film begins with Johnny Depp's character, William Blake, heading out west. The viewer is given glimpses of teepees, of structure. Conversely, the further out west the train goes, the more savage the passengers really become. Well, that doesn't explain why you've come all the way out here. All the way out here to hell. Look, we're shooting buffalo. In a traditional western such as Stagecoach, savagery is typically associated with Native Americans. By showing how the notion of savagery is inexclusive to any culture, Dead Man subverts all the expectations of the classic Western. Quit talking about it! Do it, by God! I will! There you go. Good! Got him! The film stars Johnny Depp, who plays the role of William Blake. You know my poetry. Early in the film, he's shot, and contrary to the traditional depiction of Indians as barbaric savages, his life is actually saved by an Indian whose name is Nobody. The irony of the connection between Nobody and Depp's character is that Nobody assumes him to be a well-known poet with the same name whom Blake doesn't even know exists. This irony debunks the stereotype of Indians being uneducated or intellectually inferior. After recovering from his bullet wound, Blake embarks on a vision quest. During the quest, he comes upon a dead deer and paints his face using its blood. These actions contrast the idea of Indians as being noble savages, because Blake is just as in touch with nature in this scene as Indians are often perceived to be in many films such as The Last of the Mohicans. As the film concludes, nobody views the destruction of his homeland, again indicating that perhaps the real savages are colonials. Blake is also dying in the last portion of this film. Facing death, he is put on display to Native Americans. This is a direct reference to salvage ethnography or the idea of trying to catch a glimpse of a culture before it allegedly dies. The idea of this can be seen in Edward Curtis's film, Land of the Headhunters. It is ironic then, that the film was shot in 1914, when the acts shown represent tradition rather than current affairs. It was Jarmusch's intent to directly reference his sequence. Typical Western movies portray Indians as the vanishing race, but in reality, they are no more vanishing than the Caucasians. Back to the place where all the spirits came from. And where all the spirits return. This world will no longer concern you. This final scene depicts Johnny Depp floating off into oblivion as opposed to the classic scene of John Wayne riding off into the sunset to explore the West.